Hi everybody and welcome back to the Small Engine Doctor. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the bar and chain on your steel MS170 and MS180 chainsaw. It will also apply if you have the steel 017 and 018 chainsaw as well. Today I will also be showing how to convert it from a 43 gauge bar and chain to a 50 gauge bar and chain. The 50 gauge bar and chain are more substantial and they will last much longer because they're a bit tougher. And the small saw I'll be using today has the toolless chain adjuster on it. There are no nuts over here. But if your saw is equipped with a nut here to tighten it up, it's just going to be a slightly different process. This video will still apply to your chainsaw. To remove the bar and chain, just simply pop this up and loosen it up all the way. And now you want to just pop the cover right off. And you need to pop this out of the saw. Next you can turn this clockwise to loosen up the chain and bar and now simply just lift it right up. Since this saw is equipped with a toolless adjustment it's going to have this part here attached to the bar. This part here will actually come off the bar. The way to do this is to remove the slotted screw in the back. There's only one screw holding this part on. Now I'm going to clean up this part with my air compressor. Make sure to wear safety glasses when you do this. And I'm also going to air blow the clutch cover and this part of the chainsaw as well. And if you have a parts washer or some old gas and a paintbrush, you can clean it off as well. It does a much better job. I usually use the compressor to blow off the bigger pieces of dirt then I wash it up with gas or in a parts washer. Before I move on to the installation, I'm going to show you the old chain and why I'm replacing it. Well, this is why, because the teeth are almost wore out right through. Look at this. This is what the teeth from a new chain should look like. And look at the teeth on the old chain on this one. They're finished. In the beginning of the video, I told you I would be converting it from a 43 gauge bar and chain to a 50 gauge. Well, let me show you and explain to you exactly what I mean by that. Here's the new chain. Basically what it means is this part here of the chain will be 50 gauge in size. On the old chain, it's 43 gauge, which is a bit thinner. It's not as heavy duty of a chain. It's a much thinner chain overall and much lighter. It's not going to last as long as the 50 gauge I'm putting on. And when it comes to the bar, the groove inside here is 43 gauge, which is a bit thinner than 50 gauge. So if I tried putting a 50 gauge chain on a 43 gauge bar, what would happen is that the chain would be way too tight in there. As you can see here, it barely goes in. It's really tight. If you got it in, the saw wouldn't be able to turn the chain over. If it did turn it over, it would smoke like crazy and get really hot. Here's a comparison with the old chain and the new 50 gauge chain. You can see that the rivets are much better. They're more substantial. And the 50 gauge chain feels much more heavy in your hands than the old chain. And if you compare them side by side like this, you can see that these parts here of the chain on the 50 gauge one are much thicker than on this older chain here, which is 43 gauge. By the way, the 43 gauge chain is the one that comes with your saw when you buy it. This was an original chain and that's what comes with most little saws that you buy from steel like that. And here's the 50 gauge bar as well. That's going to go with the new chain I have. You can tell it's a 50 gauge by looking at the numbers over here, 0.050, it's a 14 inch bar. On the old bar here, the gauge is 43, 0.043 or 1.1 millimeters. That was a 16 inch bar. But a close comparison doesn't show too much difference. The nose on this bar here is much bigger. And before I start off, I'm going to give you the part numbers for each part here so that it's easier for you if you decide to go to a 50 gauge bar and chain for your small saw. This is the part number I'm using for the chain today, 36130020050. And this is the part number for the bar that I'm using today, it's 30050048098. You can buy both parts at any steel dealer near you. Now for the reinstallation, the first thing I'm going to put back on is this part here for the toolless adjustment of the chain. If you flip this part over, you're going to see two knobs over here. And they're going to need to go in here on this side of the bar. So I'm just going to put them in the holes. Now flip the bar over with the part and hold it together. 
Now there's only one hole that you can put the screw back in to hold this part to the bar and it's this hole over here. You're going to see some threads in there. There's no threads in this hole over here. And make sure you tighten up this screw. And I'll double check that it's on properly. It's going to be nice and flush on the bar with no gaps. Now I'm going to insert the chain on the bar. And make sure the sharp side of the teeth are pointing toward the front of the chainsaw. And you want to make sure that the chain is wrapped around the bar like this. And now insert the barn chain on the chainsaw. You want to get this part here through the stud over here. But first get the chain on the clutch, then move the bar forward. If you can't move the barn chain forward enough to get it through the stud, just simply move this dial clockwise. It's going to loosen the chain and allow you to slide it right in there. At this point you want to make sure that the chain is properly around the sprocket. Now hold down the barn chain so it doesn't come off the sprocket. And now insert the clutch cover back on. You just want to connect this hole here to the stud over here and then tighten it down. Once you've got the cover on, push on it so that the blade and chain stay in their position. And I'll turn this clockwise to tighten it up. You don't need to fully tighten it at this point, just snug it up. The reason for that is that we still need to adjust the chain on this chainsaw. And you can only do this with this partially loose. Since the chain is very loose as you can see here, we're going to need to tighten it up. And to tighten it up, you're going to need to turn this knob clockwise. And you're going to see that the chain is tightening up. Now while you're doing this, it's important that you grab the bar and pull it up and hold it there and now tighten up the knob to the desired tightness. Keep holding it in this position and now tighten up this knob over here. This is approximately the amount of tension you want on the chain for now. And you should be able to move it freely with your hands. You can wear gloves if you're afraid of cutting yourself. Now because this is a new chain, you may find that after short use it's going to be loose again. That's normal. In that case, if you find that it's too loose again, just repeat the same process to tighten up your chain. So that's all there is to it to replacing the barn chain on your small steel chainsaw. Now that it's all installed, I'm going to take it outside and give it a test run. <laughs> As you saw the new barn chain cut really good and by the way when the chain comes out of the box it's ready to go you don't need to sharpen it. And with the 50 gauge chain and bar I find that the chain bites much better into the wood therefore cutting the wood much better. The 43 gauge chain and bar are still good but I find that the 50 gauge cuts firewood much better. It's something you may want to consider when you have to replace the barn chain on your steel MS170 or MS180. Thanks for watching make sure to subscribe and we'll see you in my next video.